Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your oracle reading for this week in August. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Aries. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing this reading, giving Aries clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Aries, um, what it looks like is, uh, so I've asked, you know, um, distinct questions about, you know, these cards have questions associated with them. Okay, it's late, whatever. Um, the first question is, what everybody wants to know, is new love coming in, is new love coming in for the Aries Collective? Now, it is a general reading, so it won't resonate with everyone, but... If you feel like it resonates with you, you know, take it. We got the Ace of Wands with that question. So, yes, new love is coming in for you. Um, the spark, okay? Um, throwing your hat in the ring. Inspiration, growth, potential. Starting something, okay? A creative spark also. Finding a new passion. Um something that's urgent or urgency i don't know maybe someone will come to you with urgency um speaking of that what clarified the ace of wands is the eight of pentacles so for some of you you can meet someone at work or in a work environment a school or um a learning type environment continuing education i don't know whatever it is you are involved in also this could speak of maybe a relationship resurfacing okay and, and i know most of these cards and we'll get into them speak of something like that so the eight of pentacles can say um this is a relationship that will restart here renew um the spark will be re reignited um on this relationship where maybe there were many many starts okay no finishes um you guys were doing something over and over again it was in and out um it was cyclical you know you guys kept going in the same cycle here with the eight um the eight of pentacles um you kept working on the same thing also you weren't fixing anything or you weren't moving forward um the relationship didn't grow um speaking of growth this talks about growth the, re the relationship didn't grow and it didn't get to some self-sustaining energy you guys had to keep babying it and pacifying the relationship maybe due to lack of cooperation i don't know um but this person could resurface you could resurface in this person's energy i don't know it's um it could be that you you're coming back together maybe by working on yourself working independently you or the other person has gotten a sense of enlightenment here with the uh the yellow pentacles enlightenment that maybe this is something that you want to work on or work with um this particular person also you are um you're willing to give this another chance here okay um yeah you're willing to give this another chance this person could be thinking of you over and over again or this is what you're doing aries so how your person which is very interesting how your person views you or a significant person in your life whether you're together or apart how, whomever you're coming to the reading for how they view you is uh the main male i guess if you are a male the lovers okay and the main female so they view you guys as a couple a couple um separated um an obstacle being that maybe there's not a lot of balance and harmony you guys are not always on the same page here there's a lot of passion a lot of love maybe good sex good times fun times but you guys have not g grown to a place of solidifying the relationship by way of obstacle there also could be choice maybe someone has a choice to make you Aries or the other person so that is the obstacle between the main male okay and the main female 
um, that's the obstacle between the two of you here, a choice here, a life altering one for somebody. So this is how your person is viewing you in the relationship. How you view your person, Aries, is great fortune. You view this person as very fortunate or the relationship can be very fortunate. It can bring a change for you, a change um, in terms of how you, uh, how your life is going now. It can completely turn around, make a 180. I don't know. Um, it could just be so different. Uh, this person could help move the energy forward, this reducing to an eight. Um, also, you feel like you, you guys could actually merge your lives. There, there needs to be a level of intimacy here, but that is lacking. Closeness, vulnerability, openness, okay? Um, that's what's lacking here. So, Aries, this is how you are viewing your person. Like, you know, we work. It works chemistry is here but there's lack of intimacy and merger in this connection it's just two independent people who are existing with um this burden between the two of you okay um this burden being this choice the um an energy that rests between the both of you is thoughts and there's a man and then there's a woman on that in that portrait so there's some man thinking about a woman here um, thinking about the relationship, thinking about the marriage, if you're in one, uh, thinking about the equality or the inequality, how the both of you communicate with one another, your interpersonal skills, maybe how you, you just, you're not getting each other. There keeps, there's always um, a mis, mishap or misunderstanding. Um, but this person is, uh, has you heav heavily on their thoughts or you have them in your thoughts areas here. Um, this person is trying to, is thinking of um, ways, you know, strategy of how to, you know, come to you, um, scheming in terms of how to get to you or communicate with you. Um, this person is thinking of, you know, yeah, this, this would reduce to a seven. It's so much mystery surrounding the both of you, you know, it's trying to really make sense of it all, you know, all the things that they don't know, all of the things that they do know. Um, how can they make something happen between the two of you? The magic happened. Seven talks about magic also. You both could be separated and someone just doesn't know how to come back to you. There could have been choice words spoken the last time that you did speak. If it wasn't, it was just an energy of tenseness and, um, yeah, uh, or tension, excuse me, uh, of tension and, um, frustration and so this person doesn't know how to come back to you how to rectify the relationship it says that the relationship is recoverable but not without cooperation um negotiation and communication all of those cations you know you gotta have those cations um and it, it seems as if you don't you both don't uh without each other you both feel impoverished like something is missing you feel low you feel, um, I don't know, there could have been utter devastation here that brought someone to an impoverished state mindset or just not having confidence in this moving forward because it just all fell apart, okay? Um, the advice for you, Aries, is um, it's just very interesting. It's like you're in a very fanatical or fantasy state of being but not in a very take action daring bold energy and the cards want you to ask yourself the question why haven't I had what I really want because you're gonna have to sacrifice something your ego your reputation your your whole philosophy about relationship or whatever because you're you're really fantasizing about having something with this person you're in a place of um, wishful thinking in terms of a relationship. Again, with the two of wands, um, wishful thinking, um, lots of thinking, not a lot of action. You're in between that in between space of going forward and uh, taking action and doing nothing. Planning. You got two paths here. You can 
continue in the path that you're on or you can move on to another path you can um you know um because it seems as if you're restless with other options too or you're restless in your life right now by yourself um it seems as if why you haven't had this person or you guys haven't progressed is because you Aries just won't push it forward it looks like this person is waiting for you um you kind of you know back out or cower down or say I'm not going to fight for it or I'm not going to push it but you, you're in a very wonderless type of energy about this or what it could be and I see that with great fortune because you you view this as um you 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 having a really good fortune with this person like it could be wonderful it could be mag you know magnificent but I am doing nothing to actually bring that uh to fruition Somebody here could have a choice of two partners. You know, one is steady and the other one is daring and adventurous. Um, I don't know. I think it's fight or flight sometimes, too. You don't want to fight for this. You just leave. Um, I don't know. One situation is dominating the other. Maybe this other person just kind of dominates your person and they just go with them. And you kind of just back off or cower down or you don't fight for it therefore you don't get it because the cards are asking you to ask yourself why haven't i had what i really want and what you really want is this person you want this connection could be a king of cups could be a piscean it could be uh cancer scorpio libra um, it seems as if you want reconciliation you want to get back on the right path with this person you feel like um this is a you know not only a love you know a lover but this is a friend this is something that you want to further but it looks like the universe is waiting on you aries waiting on you to get serious about it to make the decision to go all in here um okay so i don't know it's like a knee jerk opportunity just to move on into something move just do it you know um show up call text tell them how you feel doesn't matter what the response is this is for you almost like confidence here um confidence that you're going to get what you want um the grass is always greener on the other side aries with the two of wands meaning Okay, you're on the side of safe, stable, sturdy. I'm not saying anything. I'm not doing anything. I'm waiting for it to come to me, but it's not coming. It's like you have to throw your hat in the ring here with the Ace of Wands in order to have this new love or this new start or this old person back or whatever. So um, that's what I have for you, Aries. If it resonates for you, go over to the website. Book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below you can also donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so thank you aries many blessings to you take care oh sorry aries the cards want you to know that um adventure awaits go find it okay um and we see that here with the two of wands okay you got to push this thing through it looks like the other person is waiting for you how they view this connection is that you guys are a match main female main main male main female you guys are lovers at this point there is opposition between the two of you but you know with a little perseverance and um putting your foot down and being persistent it looks like you can sh you know swing the, the the pendulum you can shift this energy here so i mean it's up to you you don't have to do anything but yeah, the cards are asking you to ask that question. Why haven't I had what I really want? What do you need to sacrifice? It may be your way of thinking, your perspective here. Aries, thank you. Many blessings to you.